Hello, we're in Clophill, Bedfordshire, and we're walking up this lane to the um, notoriously haunted <coughs> uh, church in Clophill. And there's been reports of black magic and all sorts of strange goings on with bones being laid out and all sorts of weird rituals. And apparently the church is facing the wrong way. A church is supposed to face, I forget which direction. <laughs> I think it's east. East. But... Well, um, basically the wrong way it's going the wrong way which means it's all supposed to be inviting satan and all sorts of weird things so we're going to find it now hello um as richard just said up up the lane should be just up the top we haven't actually been here before so hopefully the church is up the top there it's not too long a walk uh, we must remember we are a genuine investigation we're not going to stage anything this is just to see what it's like in the day we'll come back here later on we are both open-minded unless we see something or hear something that we can't explain then maybe we'll start to prove that you know these myths as they are they're, they're myths they're stories we want to prove or disprove them um, and uh, here we go so Richard as we're walking up to Clockwell uh, what do you think about the stories of black magic and uh, like the black mass like devil uh, people putting out bones to try and um, entice him and uh, church is facing the wrong way. This what is all these stories Actually, surrounding just, Clockville. Sorry to interrupt you, I've just seen it. For the oh, first, you just seen for the it. First time in my life, there it is. Right, it's up the top of the lane there. We just zoom in. Here we are. So yeah, what do you what do you think about all of this? Um, it's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a bit weird. Yeah, do you believe it? Uh, no, not really but I want to go there and see and find out for myself. I've grown up, you know, in this area and I've always heard about it and heard of the weird goings on. But I've not seen it myself, so I don't know. I want to find out. There it is. Um, it's fenced off for some reason to keep the evil spirits out. <laughs> Yeah, before we go into the church, we we'll just come around to the side, there's the uh, some graves. Some have really overgrown. There's a tomb over here as well. Okay, we're inside the church. Uh, it's smaller than I thought. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling anything. It's just a building at the moment. It's because it's during the day, nice sunny bright day. Bricks and mortar, just... You know, at night, I can, I can see why it would feel totally different. But um, because of its history, and that plays on your mind. Oh, look. oh what? 666. 666 six, six everywhere. There's a lot this, of 666 around. This is what this place is all about. People getting carried away with myths about the devil. Um, I'm colder for some reason. I've had to put my hat on. That would be the weather. No, I'm colder in here than it is out there. Yeah, that does happen. Sorry. Right, we should, we'll be quiet now. Yeah? Right, so we're listening for a voice. Uh, a shadow on the camera would be brilliant. I'm sure you can do that. You know, if you're the black magic, I'm sure that's the least you can do. Um, footsteps, stones dropping. There's no, there's no roof. They drop a stone from an imagine. You know, where, wherever you are, throw a st throw. We're, we're, we're happy of being hit by stones, aren't we? Oh, I love it. Yeah, right, we're going to just stand and be quiet for about a minute. We're going to stay completely still. Okay, well, I didn't pick up anything there. Well, we're going to uh, 
vacate the facility now. Richard, would you like to say anything before we come back later? Yeah. Or should um, we going back and getting changed? Well, we're going to go back yeah. now, get changed, come back when it's dark, and I think it's going to be very different. But if there's something that's been waiting, watching us now, thinking, I'll have you when it's dark, then um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll see you later. Right, we're, uh, we've come back. It, as you can see, it's night time. Um, it's a lot different at night. Uh, a bit more spooky. We were very relaxed in, uh, this afternoon. Um, weather's changed a bit. A bit of rain. Uh, very dull in place. Richard actually isn't with us uh, this afternoon. He, he went a bit ill. He, uh, he, he was sick. Um, this Clockhill Church is supposed to be built on top of a leper hospital. Um, I'm not saying for one minute he's sick because of that, but it's interesting, you know, is he sick because he's got leprosy? <laughs> um, if our skin starts falling off, we uh, might believe a little bit of that, but yeah, yeah, no, I don't believe it at all. Um, so uh, he'll hopefully be with us next time we're here. Um, because of that, because I'm a coward, even though I don't fully believe, I'm open-minded, but I thought I'd bring our resident skeptic, skeptic along, uh, yeah. Jazz, he was with us at Marston Mortain. Um, and he's behind the camera now, so I'm going to uh, just film him. Yeah, so the first time I've been here, um, really, really dark. And uh, it yeah, was spooky. He's very good at analysing things, Jazz. Thanks. Just, uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit cold. Uh, I'm sure I could be doing other things this time of night, but uh, I thought I'd come along, see what's going on. Um, I'm looking forward to something happening, but as, you, as probably some of you might know, I don't really think this sort of thing does happen. So. Let's see what goes on. Uh, we're walking up to the church now, Clothill Church. Um, so we, we're going to just go in and see if we can just sense anything first of all. Found a place to squeeze through. Just gonna squeeze through. Like yeah. a... oh. Okay. We're going to stand quiet for one minute and ask a few questions. If there's anything here, now's the time to maybe make yourself know. Okay, doorway here. Show yourself in the doorway. Through lights. Feel anything just? No. Seeing anything? I'm not seeing anything. I've, I always keep looking behind me though. There's always there's a, there's a shadow of a tree over there which just caught my attention. But I've not seen, heard nothing. Just a few rattling of the cages over here, the fence things. I, I the know wind. what that is. And over here, we have 666, which is obviously the mark of the devil. Um, another strange writing. Now, I, uh, these, these are the myths we're talking about. You know, people come up here thinking that the devil's here, black magic. Uh, there's various people that say that ch there's many churches face the wrong way in uh, Britain. Um, people are just focused on this one. Uh, they've, already, they've already rubbished it being on something called Dead Man's Hill. Apparently that's further in another direction. So this is a, a church. It's old, it's derelict. There's been various stories attached to it various goings on with black magic. I don't know, that might, that might even create something, I don't know, but as a place, we're here at the moment, we're trying to say, well, it's just a place. It's old, derelict, nothing here. Saying that, <laughs> in the last five minutes, I felt a bit funny. Um, I'm open-minded, I'm not, you know, Jazz is totally skeptical, he's gonna not be spooked by anything, but it was just a moment I was standing in the chapel end, and uh, yeah, I still wanna be by myself. I don't know why I want to be with Jack. You don't, you don't make me feel safe at all. Cheers. <laughs> but I just start to sense I'm seeing things out of the corner of my eyes. I feel like I'm totally behind me. I've got really shivery. You've uh, still got I your think, skin though, haven't you? I think it's the weather. I, th I do think it. And it's just a case of I'm getting that um, natural, spooky, haunted building. Um, you know, it's if like I was here on my own. I don't think I'd stay here on my own, to be honest. Even though I, at the moment there's no evidence of anything being here. It's strange. It's strange when you feel things like that. Do you feel anything at the moment, Judge? No. I, I, no. We, we were speaking about this before, weren't we? we it's just, just, the feeling of being watched. We I haven't got that. No, strange. Um, 
Uh, we're going to set up a few experiments, um, right. and then we'll do some lone vigils as well. Try and do both of us. So me, who's feeling feeling something, just scared probably, and Jazz uh, sitting here. Hopefully, we'll have different reactions to me. That prove maybe it's just you know yeah. uh, stories are maybe are playing in my head and so on. Um, okay, so we'll set up our first experiment. We I put a cross uh, made out of some blocks because uh, maybe. You know, just maybe if there is something here, like something bad, you know, obviously the cross is uh, awesome. something you don't believe Balance. in. So we would like that moved, please. And we're going to walk around the graveyard for a little bit. We're going to leave it a camera on. Um, so we're going to ask some questions to move this. Yeah. Right, that's recording. Okay. And we'll leave that there. We've uh, come outside. Um, our experiment is running. Uh, if you are here, then you'll see a light, and that'll be the camera. Um, move the cross. Make a noise. Make something on that camera that's filming it. Really great, you know, because uh, do you want to prove yourself you are here? It makes it a bit hard to believe that there is something, like if you do haunt this place, why do you do it? It's not much fun be up here at night by yourself. We come up here to see you now. You know, we don't want to see you. I'm not mocking you. It was just nice to see if you are here. Prove you, you know, prove to us, prove to the viewers. There's people watching this now. We've got a few people who are following our videos. They'd be very interested in seeing if the Clop Hill ghost story is true or is it just a myth? So do something to that cross, please. Set fire to it. Those bits of wood in there are my mum's. If you set fire to them, she'll be very annoyed. But do it, you know, I'll, I'll go out and buy some more. Just move them slightly. If you haven't got the power to do it, I don't know how these things work. If you, if you really want to move them, move them. Put your energy into it. Okay, we're at the graveyards. Uh, there's graves all around Cop Hill. Uh, there's a modern graveyard just over that way. There's quite a few graves in front of me. Right, we're coming to a team over here. I do hope nobody's nicked that camera because that's Richard's, <laughs> <laughs> not mine. What's this? We've got two here. I don't know. Once again, if these just be moved here. Got a lot of sound here now, John. Yeah, I heard that. Can't you hear? It? Can you hear it? Yeah, it's like a little little tap. Once again, have these just been moved here? Got a lot of sound here now, John. Once again, have these just been moved here? Got a lot of sound here now, John. Do you want to ask something out while we're here? Because, you know, we're in the graveyard. I've heard some things about you. You're in touching distance of that cross over there. How about doing something? Okay, we'll go back into the church and see uh, our experiment. No, and that's it's exactly how we left it. Now, I do know that uh, having a cross exactly where you leave it over a period of 15, 20 minutes, I don't know, that doesn't prove that something isn't here, but, you know, it's just one thing when something hasn't happened. <laughs> okay, there's Jazz. He's 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 gonna walk away. I am. Leaving him be by myself. I don't think you can catch any of sort of where I am. I'm sort of shining up. There's like a chapel up top there. Yeah, look look after him, spirits. Um, I'm at the end of the church by myself. See you later. Uh, I'll be back soon. What? Five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Last that long. See you later. Yeah. So I'm in. Clophill Church, completely by myself. There's no roof above me. I've got complete darkness in front of me. Oh, I'm a bit scared, actually. <laughs> um, I'm going to call out. I'm going to film some things. I don't think you'll be able to see much. I think that was Jazz. There was a light just came in then. Um, I think Jazz is walking around the outside. Okay, so... I'm going to try and listen as well to certain points 
I just try and stay quiet because my hearing is not the best and you might be able to pick something on camera. And I hope you appreciate this. Right, here we go. Does <coughs> anybody hear? Please make a noise. What was that? There was a noise just then. As soon as I said that. Anybody here? Please make a noise. What was that? There was a noise just then. As soon as I said that. Is anybody here? Please make a noise. Was that you? If that was you, make the noise again. How do? It's me, Jas here. Leave, I've left John on his own uh, to do his little one-to-one one -to -one thing, whatever he's doing. I'm walking towards a tree here, and uh, I'm going to sit down. I'm sitting next to the church, which is over there. Probably can't see. And then I'm sitting next to a group of uh, tombs, not too well, graves. You can't see them. Probably can't see them. I'm in the middle of them. So, I've got the best of both worlds here. So that's happening over there, so that's happening over here. I, uh, about a minute ago, there was a big, big scream, but uh, that could have been anything. Uh, now John doesn't really like being on his own. I actually don't mind it. I don't mind being on my own. Uh, especially in a place like this. It's quite, uh, there's not really much, we're quite high up up here and you can see quite a lot of lights and cars and things that's going on um, and you probably can't see too much but um, this is, I haven't been on one of these kind of things for a while um, but every time I do come to these things I do feel a little bit more uh, a bit more open minded than I am, than I was when I first started, I was completely closed minded didn't believe in anything Still don't really, um, but the more I'm subjected to, the more things I've, I think about. So, that's good, really. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if John's flashing his light over there. Who's that? Oh, it's John. That is John. I'm just winding up. I don't know. Can you see it over there? You can't see that, can you? I think John was messing about with the light over there. Hope that's wound him up. Yeah, wound him up. I'm going to take a little walk with me. Um, I want to have a look at some graves. Why am I in this freezing cold looking at tombstones? I've just realised. Uh, oh, 1909. What's on telly now? Sky Plus. Uh, 70, yeah, actually, the, considering it's meant to be like olden day stuff, they, they live quite a long time. 78. When I'm 78, I'll be sitting alone with a blind dog in a pub drinking a half a Guinness. I can only hope. Home where no thought of tomorrow ever can shadow my brow. Home in the presence of Jesus through all eternity now. That's nice. nice. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't, you know, I'm a bit scared. I've got, felt a bit better. It's happened in Master Morte. The longer I'm here, the easier I feel. No, it's probably because nothing's happening. But it is an eerie place. I can see why there are ghost stories. 
Now I've just come out, Jazz has come back of his loan vigil, uh, anything? Yeah, he's, co he's come out a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> now I was, I was sitting over there by the tree, ne up <clears> there next to the s tombstones and the church, right bang in the middle. Um, you you wouldn't have, you might have heard it, because it's that camera. There was a scream earlier on. What do you think that was? You'd say, it's saying like a normal human scream. I was, I was just speaking about um, the more of these that I go on, I'm starting to get slightly more open-minded than I was. I'm still... Why, why, why is that? Why? Because I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting subjected to this sort of thing now. I'd, I've never had any experience. I've just sat, you know, sat in the air saying, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. And that's it. But now I'm out here doing stuff. I'm still got my same views, but starting to, you know, experience a little so, bit more. So some things out, what would you say, to sum it up, Yeah. what would you say about Clop Hill then in terms of, is it just ghostly myths or is there something really here? No, nah, nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, it's just, oh, just an abandoned place now. I hear it's going to be a youth club soon. Youth hostel. Youth hostel. Oh, youth hostel. Yeah. Oh, right. No, Oceana. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, there's right. really nothing here for me, for me. Right, we're going to call it a night at Clop Hill. We may come back. Uh, it's been interesting, it's been atmospheric. In terms of proving about myths or real ghost stories, I would say myth, um, as our other episodes have suggested. Um, but, you know, is it fair to say that we've been here for an hour, uh, one experiment, been on our own, maybe, you know, do people do ghosts haunt places every single night of the year? They must have some time off. Um, so we will come back, I think, but at the moment, Ghost Myths and Legends, Search for the Truth, I think we can say at the moment, this is just ghostly myths at Clop Hill in Bedfordshire. Hello, we're back at Clop Hill. Third visit for me. Um, last time was with Jazz. Uh, Jazz isn't here this time. Um, uh, Richard is back with us. Um, he was ill last time. We came up in a day, and after that, he fell ill. I joked about it being uh, because it used to be a leprosy uh, hospital <laughs> up Clop Hill, and I thought he might have got leprosy. Uh, we find out if his skin's still on his face at the minute. I'm just going to pan around to Richard. Yeah. Here's proof that he is alive. Hello. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm a lot better now, thank you. Any skin I'm falling right. off? It did fall off, but I've got a new face, so I hope it looks better on the camera. Um, so your, It's it, your first time at night, It's Clopper, my first time it? at night, and it's, uh, it is different. It, last time, Jonathan got a scream on the camera, and people were saying it was a bird. And or a fox. When you're quiet, you can't... There's, na there's no birds, nothing lives here. <laughs> it's where everything's dead. I want to find out about this uh, Sophia's grave as well. Now what's that? What, what What do you mean by Sophia's grave? Um, there's been lots of, she apparently haunts this place. Um, there's been lots of sightings of her. And could it have been a scream maybe? And, well, it makes a lot of sense to me that it was, when I first heard the scream I thought it was a girl scream. Um, so two and two together. So we're going to try that again and then perhaps even look for a grave which I think is over there. Okay, return to the nave of the church. This is where I was sat last time. You won't be able to see it, but if you pan around, you might see the window. You get in that window. Got the edges of it. Okay, that window is where uh, Sophia is supposed to be seen. This is the uh, young girl that supposedly haunts Clop Hill Church. Is this where she was dug up? So I was sat here, I heard what was uh, on the camera sounds like a scream. We've uh, got a compass out, one of the myths about Clop Hill is that uh, um, it faces the wrong way and that's why black magic was performed up here among other reasons now i've got the compass out have a little look now obviously you can see we're north east is that way can you get an east on there here now that is means the church is actually facing in the right way so uh so, so that is a myth this way it's facing yeah, that, that way, yeah? way so that's a myth so we've solved that one <laughs> right, I'm going to put the compass down and we're going to see if anything strange happens to that. Maybe turn the compass the other way. Yeah. Now, if you pan down here, we've got a cross. I'll put the You're compass. You're enjoying this far too much. Oh no. There we are. There's a compass. It's facing north with the red dial, as you can see. We're going to leave the experiment, uh, walk off to the north side of the graveyard. So, north is behind where the camera is now, and that is where Sophia's grave is supposed to be. Okay, we've just set the experiment up in the church. We're now on the north side of the graveyard. Um, 
looking for, hunting for Sophia, the legend of Sophia. She's notorious in this area. She haunts everybody. She's been seen loads of times. So I'm gonna call call out. Look, just while you talk, I'm sure I see lights over there. But I, I thought think I heard a noise. We're gonna walk over to the grave. You keep keep calling out and we'll have a little look see if we can find a grave. Keep calling I keep asking, what do you want us to do? Uh, right. Keep asking, what do you want us to do? Uh, right. Ask me, what do you want us to do? Uh, right. Sophia, um, last time we thought we heard you scream. Is that a scream over there? I thought I heard a squeak. Hi, right, we were looking for Sophia's grave and then a, a car came up the lane and we thought, oh dear, <laughs> police or somebody, but it's a bloke called Sean. Uh, he's come here. Right. And uh, he, he just told us an interesting story because last time we were here we heard a scream on the camera and Sean had been up here before and he can tell us his story. Yeah, what yeah. happened? I was up here about a month ago with my girlfriend, as you do, like she's scared of the place so I brought her up here and uh, we was just looking about and that, you know, and yeah. I thought someone was trying to wind me up and scare me, like by screaming, but this weren't no human scream. The scream hurt my ears, like my girlfriend really? ran back to the car, locked herself in. <laughs> as I ran back to the car, I could feel something behind me, like a presence. Yeah. And it's, that did actually scare me because I couldn't see it. Yeah. And uh, the, the scream was just, it was really high pitched, like so high pitched it actually hurt my ears. Really? Yeah. Nice bloody hell. Yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> We, uh, as you just seen, met a lovely chap who uh, gave us some information about this place, and he's directed us to Sophia's grave. It's uh, behind this, in the bushes. So this is it. So let's try again. That's Chris who's calling out. Ready? Yep. Sophia, if you are here, make a noise. Make a scream. Everyone hears your scream. We want to hear it again. So this is it. So let's try again. That's Chris who's calling out. Ready? Yep. Sophia, if you are here, make a noise. Make a scream. Everyone hears your scream. Everyone hear it. We want to hear your scream again. So many people have heard it. We've heard it. And we are standing by your... By what? your grave. I just heard a noise in the bushes. Did you hear that? No. Just like, sound like... Just leaves. Like a rustle of leaves. Okay, we're walking back to the church. Rich is going to do a lone vigil now uh, while I walk around the graveyard. Uh, and maybe, Richard, you uh, ask for something to happen. I think my exact words were, if anybody's here, please make a noise. Let's see if we get that scream again. I think that'd be quite interesting. Okay, I'm on my own now. 
I'm in the church at the head of the church and the uh, head of the church and um Jonathan is over over there the north side of the graveyard at Sophia's grave so I thought I heard something then make a scream Sophia why do you scream all the time everybody hears you scream why scream why can't you just say something Right, well, do something to Jonathan. He's at your grave. Push him over. Whisper in his ear. Blow in his ear, like that. Come on, this is your last chance to make a noise. Scream. Come on. Come on. Now, if that don't get you motivated, I don't know what will. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, got a chill then. That wasn't a nice feeling. Thought I saw someone walk through that doorway. But I think it was my imagination. I'm going to do that again, actually. I'm going to turn my back on the doorway. That was not a nice feeling. That's the only time this evening I felt a bit uncomfortable. I'm going to do that again now. I don't want to. But I'm doing it for you. <laughs> and then when you turn your back on it, that feels horrible. Why is that? Don't like that. Don't know what that is. You want me to turn your back on you? I'm going to turn my back on you again. Do something again. Make me feel uncomfortable. Don't kill me though. Just, you know. Be nice. Right, well, that was a bit weird because I'm now standing at the other end of the church and I thought I could hear Jonathan walking around the church on the outside. So I went, had a quick peek and he's nowhere near it. He's 50 yards away, he's by the graves. So I thought this was by the wall. So uh, whether it's echoing and the sound's travelling strange, you know, Shall I go back to the weird doorway? Okay. If you put it like that. Turn my back on it again. I like it. I don't like that. I don't know what is going on there. That is something weird. I reckon once upon a time there was some weird activity there. There. Someone stabbed someone in the back perhaps. I don't know. If I think I'm not a medium. I think if I was a medium, they would come up with something straight away. They'd pick something up straight away there. There is some sort of weird energy <clears throat> when you turn your back on it. I don't like it. Right, last chance. Fear scream. I think you are here giving me evils when I turn my back on you. But that's not enough to convince our viewers, unfortunately. It's not overly enough to convince me, really. You know, it might just be me play, playing tricks on myself. Okay. Okay, that's enough for now.
We have been to Clop Hill in the day. Um, I've been twice at night now. This place is notoriously haunted and not by nice things and the experiences that I've had, that we've had, doesn't suggest that that is true. Um, I know we've only been here a couple of times, we can't actually say it is just all a myth, but for our investigations I would say these are just ghostly myths. Uh, a derelict old building, um, there's supposed to be a ghost Sophia, maybe that is what we're hearing, screaming, I don't know. But it is um, what we would say, uh, well, Ghost Myths and Legends, I think would conclude that from our evidence, it is just ghostly myths um, made up over time. I mean, the church was facing the wrong way. But it's facing the right way. We've worked yeah. that out in five minutes, but the books have been like that for 400 years. <laughs> yeah, so you, you make your own mind, you decide. Hopefully we've caught a few more things on camera um, and come here yourself. It is a very, very atmospheric place. Anybody here? He's making noise. What's that? There was a noise just then. As soon as I said that. So this is it. So let's try again. That's because I'm calling out. Ready? Yep. Sophia, if you are here, make a noise. Make a scream. Everyone hears your scream. Everyone hear it again now. Now I've got the compass out, have a little look. Now obviously you can see we're north, east is that way. Are you getting east on there? Here. Now that is, means the church is actually facing in the right way. So, uh, so, so that is a myth. This way, it's facing yeah, that, that way. That yeah? way. So that's a myth, so we've solved that one. <laughs> that's a wrong there.